Hi, my name is Alan Andreas and welcome to Alan Ovation. In this type of video format, I'd like to do what I call a ServiceNow snack. This is basically where I try to cover a ServiceNow topic with some twists and turns that you may not know about in under about four minutes. And then by the end of the video, I'm going to try a snack that I've never had before from somewhere random around the world. In today's video, I'd like to cover the request management architecture and process. Now, I know you may be thinking, Alan, what else is there to know about the request process? We already know everything. That may be true, but there are a few things that I'd like to call out that you might find interesting. For example, within the request process, or architecture rather, there's going to be three main components. A request that's known as the wrapper, request item that's known for laptops, badges, phones, and then there's catalog tasks. So for every request, there's going to be a request item that's within it, or items, could be multiple within it, and then those request items can have one or more catalog tasks. Those are going to be used by fulfillment or for fulfillment by the agents. The process is where things get pretty interesting. So let's say you have a catalog item that you order today. You don't add it to a cart and you just check right on out. Did you know that a temporary cart record is still created? So when you place your order, a temporary cart is created. At the same time, a catalog item or the item that you ordered is placed into a cart item record. That cart item is going to house the catalog item as well as the variables, options, and ownership selections that you chose. After that, those variable ownership relationships and options are going to be placed into the respective tables. After that, your temporary cart is now going to go through a cart checkout process. Those are followed by these steps. A request record is initialized but not committed to the database. A request item rhythm, is initialized but, again, not saved to the database. As the rhythm has been initialized, it's going to be updated in the request field with the request record that was initialized in the step above. After that, the request item record relationship is going to be made with the variable ownership table and options table. After that, your rhythm is now committed to the database. Take note that this happens before the request is even created on the database. The rhythm is committed and created on the database. Your request record is now committed and arrives on the database. Important things to know is that the data model in the system does not support a record producer generating request management objects. So things like requests, request items, and catalog tasks, the rec a record producer is not a best practice or ideal to use that. What happens is that it will create orphan records, meaning there's no relationship. So if you had a record producer create a request item, it's going to be just sitting out there. The flow is not going to kick off. It doesn't have requests associated to it or tasks. Lastly, the business system or the base system workflow that comes with your system uh, with demo data on it is going to have a request level workflow associated with it. So if you work with ServiceNow or you purge all demo data from your instance, you do want to double check that you have a request workflow associated because it is demo data and could have been removed. So the snack that I'm going to try today is this Milo Pataki. This is from Greece. And this is a apple pie snack. So again, I've never had it before. And to be honest, I don't really like to try other things. I'm kind of a person that likes to just do the same thing over and over and not really try much else. But you know what? We're going to try this today. So this is an apple pie uh, kind of a little piece here. So what we're going to do, we're going to just bite into this bad boy and see how it goes. Okay. So, a little bit dry, but good. It's tasty. It's good from Greece. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for tuning in today's episode. If you enjoy ServiceNow content like this, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Until the next ServiceNow snack, take care.